Hey guys, Captain Matt Marathon Sport Fishing. Today we're going to do a little something different. I'm up on the Falcon here. And we're going to change out the SureFlow Blaster 2 pump. Hey guys, be sure you stay tuned to the end of the episode. I've got a complete description at the end of the episode with photos of all the parts and everything that I'm working on as far as changing out the pump. So there's two blaster pumps on this particular boat. The one on the left is the freshwater one and the one on the right is the saltwater one. So the intake comes in the bottom of the boat down here. That's a separate pump above it. That pump there runs the live wells, runs the, the stern live well back here and the front. So that's where your salt water comes into the boat for that particular pump. So in order to change it, there's a couple quick connects right here and on the other side. Those two unconnect the hoses, you just hand twist them off. I'll show you on the, on the new pump here. The pump itself has two screws on each side of it. So we gotta take, gotta take the four screws out, take, unscrew the, um, unscrew the quick connects on the other pump. This one has a, what's called a Deutsch connector. This clicks in place, it's a waterproof connection. You can see down inside of it, there's like a light grayish color clip in there. So that pops out and each wire has a pin that gets put on the back of the wire. So the Deutsch connector makes it easy to change something out electrically on the boat. I, I kind of had them on a couple boats now, I really like them. And that's just the way Sea Hunt builds theirs. So basically we unconnect, we unconnect the electrical, pull out the four screws, undo the two water lines, and we'll pull the other pump out and just change it out. We want to use you know, a standard screwdriver and a little plumber's tape. I like to wrap just a little bit on there to prevent any leaking. So Some boats are not easy to get to. This one's not bad. There's metal wire clamps and stuff down here next to the hoses and one side's off. Again, I'm just untwisting these. The other side is almost off right now. Okay, so both sides are off. I'll show you the end of the hose. It's just a quick connect. It just, this slides inside. This just goes over the top and you just hand tighten it. It's pretty simple. The Deutsch plug, there's a little spot you push down on it just pops apart it's nice and dry in there no issues that way kind of get it out of the way four screws again two on each side I'm going to use the electric but a hand screwdriver works as well the big thing's not dropping your screws in the bottom of the boat which usually does happen I'm not gonna lie Okay, so probably two minutes to get the pump off. So the screws have a little washer on the front of them that just slide in there and just hold that grommet in there. Again, here's your Deutsch connector. This is the intake side. You have this little screen with a little clear cap on it. The reason for the clear cap is so you can see inside of it to see if it's, if your pump's not working right and you're on a boat out fishing you want to just check that really quick just take a quick look at it this one's got water in it I'm gonna dump it out over here let's see let's go off the side of the boat over here I know what you're thinking don't do it Matt don't go over the top of the canal with the screen get that out of there we'll get the water out of the pump but you see there's a little screen filter in there and it just screws into this top piece Again, it's hand tightened on there. This one does have a couple grooves on it where you can um, grab it with a pair of like channel locks and just to make the final adjustment. So this is pretty simple. Pumps out of the boat. We're gonna get the new pump ready right now. So on your new pump, it's 
going to show on the bottom of the pump. It shows the waterfall. There's an arrow going this way. So this is the intake. That's the outtake. The screen goes on the intake, guys. A little shot of Teflon tape on her here. So when you're putting your Teflon tape, you want to think that you're spinning righty tighty. So you want to spin it from spin it the same way you're going to spin on on the valve. Get that to catch on itself. Doesn't need much. Just one one quick wrap. Make sure you don't have any on the inside going into that pump. So we are clear. Hand tight again. Screw it on. You you want this going up though. Right there, snug. Put the screen back on, just check for any debris. It looks clear. If you're doing this and you've had it off a while and it's dry, I would recommend wetting the O ring. Mine's already got a little water on it. Other piece of Teflon on the other side over here. Again, put the Teflon on the same direction you're going to be. You're going to be spinning your nut to the right. You want the Teflon going the same way so it doesn't unwind when you start screwing the screwing the quick connect onto it. You always got to kind of hold the tail down on it a little bit to get it started. Pull it, snug it, she's off. One thing I use every time, if I'm doing something with electronics on a boat, I put a little corrosion X on there. I'm going to hit the end of those pins. So get a little bit of that on there. And in the in the female end of the connection. So the trickiest part is getting that first screw in, deciding who do you want to go first. I'm going to hold the pump at kind of an angle. It depends if you're right or left handed how you want to do this. Stay. I got the bottom screw in. I can see the hole real easy from here. That one's going first. Okay, so on the bottom of the pump, or on the back of the pump, it's got these little rubber boots. One of them fell off down there, I gotta grab it. But they're soft rubber, so when you tighten it up, you're just snugging that screw in there. You're not torquing it down a lot. You're just getting it in there slightly snug. So after you get the first one in, I like using a screwdriver with the slide on it too. So the slide will go over the screw and hold it into place. Slides up, kind of holds it. It's like having a little helper. Yep, told you one was going in there. All it takes is you bump one little thing and it's going down there. So if you've got a hold you can't easily reach to the bottom, I would lay a towel down there or something to catch whatever you're going to drop because you're going to drop something. It's just how it works. Okay, let me get this back down here again. I'm going to collect, connect the, the Deutsch connectors right now. So I don't accidentally get any water in them when I do the water hoses. Again, you just slip the end of the hose into the side of the pump there and it just, just manually crank it on there. Side A is on. Again, just take your time. Take your time putting it on. Make sure you don't cross thread it because it's plastic. Side B is going on. Okay, that's it. That pump's in, ready to go. Okay guys, a little more water in there. I just washed down the boat because that was salt water that I dumped out of it. But here's the hose. Pump's working. You can see where the water goes through that little screen area. Okay, before you start your project, very, very important. The salt water comes in off the bottom of the boat down there. If your boat is sitting in a canal and not on a lift like mine, you need to turn that valve off or you'll sink the boat. You'll fill it up with water. As soon as you take that screen off, it's going to be coming in there. So do that first thing. The rest of it was, like I said, you got four bolts or four screws and, and basically three hand tighten 
pieces you got to take apart and put back together. There's nothing to it. The hardest part on almost any vessel is getting into the hold to get the pump out. And if you got an area that's tricky to reach in and you could drop something down below, lay a towel underneath it that'll catch what your screws or whatever you drop. So there you go, Captain Matt with boating tip of the week. Okay, quick summary. First thing, turn off the water where it comes into the boat. Second, disconnect and test your power. You want to make sure that you have power to the pump before you peel the pump out. Next, disconnect your water lines. Remove your pump. The pump's going to be connected with four screws. Once your pump is out, you want to remove the screen filter, empty it, and clean out any debris that may be in it. To remove the screen filter housing off the old pump. It should be just hand tightened. Teflon tape all the plumbing connections that are going to be put back on it. Use some sort of corrosion prevention. I've got links below to these two items. To reinstall the pump, you're simply going to go in reverse order that you remove the pump. The electrical connections can vary boat to boat. I did put a link to the Deutsch connections below if you'd like to switch over to that. This is Captain Matt with Marathon Sport Fishing TV. If you guys haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Again, thanks for tuning in to today's episode. If you have any questions or comments, please zip them over. 